Hey guys, welcome back to Freight 360. In this week's video, we've got a special one. We're gonna be showing you a how-to video, specifically how to post a load on the DAT load board. Hey guys, Nate here with Freight 360. Like I said before, in today's video, we're going over how to post a load in the DAT load board. If you're brand new to the channel, thanks for joining us and make sure to hit that subscribe button to get notified of all of our latest content. Please like this video and share us with all of your friends in the industry. So getting started here, we're just gonna be logged into DAT and click on this post load button in the top left. And this will bring us to the posting screen here. Now, it's gonna prompt us for a pickup date. So let's say we've got a load picking up on the 10th of August. Just select the date, and then we'll put in some basic information, origin, destination. So let's pick our origin city and our destination city. And it, as you type in the city name, it'll auto-populate the results. So make sure you have the correct origin destination. And you'll see right away, as it populates information, you'll start to get some predicted rates right in here based off of previous history. You have the ability to put the available dock hours for the origin in this field if you choose to do so. Next, you'll want to select your proper equipment type. It will default to van, so make sure if you have a flatbed or a reefer or whatever else it is, just make sure you have the correct equipment type in here. Full or partial load. You can put the length of the shipment in here as well as the weight. If you want to include a rate to offer to the available drivers out there, you can type a rate right in this offer rate field right here. Moving on down, if you have a reference number that you want to refer to, and that could possibly be a load number or a posting number from your brokerage's TMS, you can always enter that right in here. That way, if somebody calls into your office and they can use this reference ID, they'll know exactly which load you're referring to. And then you can toggle between your phone and your email for the contact method, as well as add up to two comments and a commodity. So comments might be used for something like required uh, the tarps or pipe stakes or straps or something like that. You could also put in, you know, there's three of these loads available, they're first come, first serve. You can use these comments however you want to, and the carriers will be able to see them in here. So I'll put in this one, requires e-track. And then commodity, we'll just say, this is auto parts, I'm just making this up here. Now, once I hit post, you'll see that my load has been successfully posted and everything that I listed is now right up in here. Now, a couple of things you can do, if you ever come back to the posted load screen here, you can copy this to make a duplicate posting, you can edit it if you have to change the pickup date or the destination or something like that, or when you're all done with it, you can hit the delete button and that will delete your posting and it's no longer posted on the boards. So that's it, pretty straightforward. That's how simple it is to quickly post a load on the DAT load board. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you in the next video.